For many, Concorde is and remains a true icon, a plane you couldn't miss because of its shape and, of course, the noise it made. It was the only supersonic passenger aircraft ever built, travelling at 1,350 miles an hour. On a fast run, it was Heathrow to New York in under three hours. Developed by the British and the French, it carried passengers from 1976 until all 14 were taken out of service in 2003. Its darkest day was a fire on takeoff which claimed 113 lives in Paris in 2000. But after safety improvements, it was back in the sky until British Airways and Air France said it was no longer economic. But campaigners say it should fly again. Our campaign uh, has achieved a lot in the last 12 years, uh, least of all 25,000 people who have signed a petition calling for Concorde to fly again. We're followed by over 17,000 people on social media. The idea of a supersonic plane was developed at Farnborough. For many years its chief pilot was Mike Bannister, who now lives in Surrey. Concorde was amazing because of the things that it could do. It could travel at twice the speed of sound, 1,350 miles an hour. 23 miles a minute, a mile every two and a half seconds on the edge of space where the sky got darker, where you could see the curvature of the Earth. It was literally travelling faster than the Earth rotates. You could get to New York before you left London. Today, a chance for those who worked on the plane to remember the old days. Well, I was very privileged to work on Concorde for just over 20 years. And what was it like? She was very fast. We always got across to New York or Washington one and a half hours before we'd left London. I think there's, there's an, uh, a generation nowadays that never actually saw Concorde in service flying. Um, so to offer an experience for, for young people, as well as people that never got to fly when she was in service, it's really important to recreate as best we can. If this plane were being introduced today, it would still look pretty futuristic. Over the years, there's been much debate about another supersonic passenger jet. The question is, will it ever happen? But for now, time to remember one of our best loved and well-known icons. Mike Pierce, ITV News.